So. Hello, Jimmy Song. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> good and you? I'm good. I'm good. Th thank you very much for this really interesting uh, presentation mm -hmm. on breaking Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, the website uh, Bitcoin.fr mm -hmm. loves uh, your Medium post. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great source for uh, translation mm -hmm. and articles for mm -hmm. Bitcoin.fr. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few questions. The first one would be. Um, you did on those medium posts mm -hmm. awesome prediction mm -hmm. uh, about uh, SegWit, mm -hmm. really optimistic <laughs> prediction. And um, what what would be those prediction, those forecasts for oh. uh, SegWit 2x, mm -hmm. especially about miners mm -hmm. and uh, really um, what what is your feeling about this? Yeah, so SegWit 2x is going to be a hard fork, and that is. Pretty, it looks like it's going to happen. We still don't know if it will happen on the timeline that they said. Uh, but yeah, that, that my gut feeling is that there will be a hard fork and that uh, there will be a split in the community again. Um, but you know, I, I'm a lot more optimistic than I was, uh, especially about the previous hard fork. I thought it was going to be a disaster. But what, what I didn't really realize is, uh, and this is something that I alluded to in my talk, is that Bitcoin is anti-fragile, not because of the code or anything special like that. It's because of the people in Bitcoin, mm -hmm. the individuals, the developers, the people that are uh, making all this stuff. They are essentially making it more robust every time there's an attack against it. And uh, as a result, I think the 2x hard fork Whatever happens, I think Bitcoin comes out stronger, which is, which is kind of unintuitive. A lot of people are like, oh, it's going to be a disaster, and price is going to crash and everything like that, and that may still happen. I personally think it will gain from the disorder, that there will be more certainty as a result, um, that people will go, go their own separate paths and sort of live peacefully. Um, and I, I, yeah, that, that seems to be the path that we're on. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Positive externalities then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly. I mean, there are negative externalities, of yes. course. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, and, you know, people will have to work hard to make sure that those negative externalities are reduced. But it, it takes a lot of effort in order to uh, make, yeah, it, it takes a lot of effort to make that happen. But there's a payoff at the end, and it's a stronger, better Bitcoin. And if, Imagine mm -hmm. there is no SegWit 2x. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think there will be uh, the impact on uh, Bitcoin Cash? If there is no SegWit 2x, I think Bitcoin Cash continues to become sort of the coin of choice for a lot of people that want bigger blocks. Um, does that mean it gets used? I'm not sure, right? Like I, I'm, I'm not sure. It's it's. It's, it's a question because uh, there, there isn't nearly as much development power on Bitcoin Cash as there is on Bitcoin. And I've observed that for most altcoins, uh, the price tends to reflect the quality of the development teams. Um, so I would imagine that that would continue to be the case. There are people on Bitcoin Cash that are developing. Um, but as we move on, um, the quality of the code there is mostly Bitcoin, frankly. So I, I imagine it'll do better than a lot of altcoins. But... It's not going to catch up to Bitcoin, I don't think. I have a last question. What would be a good Bitcoin developer? Mm -hmm. And especially um, when Bitcoin Core refuses, mm -hmm. uh, what, what is the good behavior to, uh, to do? For a, a Bitcoin developer? Yes, yes. Yeah, so um, as a Bitcoin developer, what, what you want to do is sort of contribute in a humble way. Uh, the biggest problem that I think a lot of developers have when they come into Bitcoin is uh, there, there's a meme. I just learned about Bitcoin. I'm here to fix it, right? And that's that's the wrong attitude. You need to come in humbly. You need to sort of like start from the bottom, review a lot of code, uh, write tests, uh, review uh, you know review other people's code, and then you can start putting in uh, code. I, I I have a class programming blockchain.com which I'm going to try to bring to Europe. Uh, but, you know, that, uh, to train developers and sort of get them in this mentality of adversarial thinking and things like that so you can really program things in a way that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I w I w I, the number one thing I would recommend is don't have too much of an ego because it's very humbling in the presence of all these, like, really brilliant people that know what they're talking about. And, you know, you have this great idea, but they shoot it down. 
that's okay. That's normal for open source projects like Bitcoin. Thank you very much, Thank you. Jimmy. Yeah. And uh, I hope to uh, have more Medium posts uh, <laughs> to translate from you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I really appreciate you guys doing that. And uh, yeah, I, let me know what, what's unclear. Like, I'm always sort of looking for ideas for posts. So yeah, I, e even if it's in French, tweet at me and I can click the translate button. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Bitcoin.fr. Yes. Awesome.